Hello, parliamentarians. I would like to talk about the coming very important uh, global parliamentarians, the conference for the population and development in April 26 and 27 in Tokyo. We have already had the wonderful General Assembly last year and decided to have the three the standing committees. One is the gender-related health and the women's empowerment. The second is uh, investing in youth. And third is uh, active aging. This framework should be applied to the coming uh, global uh, conference for population and development in Tokyo as well. But in addition to that, we are now facing some, some very serious the subject quite related to the health issues. This is the how we can cope with the coming very risky infectious diseases such as the Ebola. Ebola outbreak took place in the three countries in the West Africa, which are the far distance place from our own country. However, the people can so easily fly beyond the national boundaries and each other. And they are very they are easy to uh, exchange their own ideas and also exchange so many business. And then, unfortunately, those are the timing. It's the very timing to infect each other, sometimes for those the risky infectious diseases. How we can prevent those future risky threat caused by those very serious infectious diseases. This is a very, very serious, urgent matter we have to tackle on. And then, what the role of the parliamentarian? This is a very, very important role in each country because the parliamentarians has their own knowledge how to do that, and the parliamentarians has the wonderful position to influence on the government decision making based on our own people. Uh, then we do realize that the WHO take a very important key role and WHO has the very important regulation for infectious diseases such as the international health regulation. According to the international health regulation, each country if as a such a risky infectious disease is happened, and then have to report to the headquarter of the WHO through the, each the country office of the WHO. But unfortunately, only 40% of the member states do it, and 60% is now preparing the how we can collaborate each other and strengthen the capacity of, of the each country which has not reported to the headquarters of the coverage or there are so many reasons for the each country which do not. But how we can collaborate each other and how we can strengthen those the country to participate in this very important international health regulation in the order to protect our own people beyond the national boundary. Only a parliamentarian has the wonderful capacity to influence on those that is making beyond the national boundary through our parliamentarian's network of FPPA. Now we have to do it. Thank you very much for your wonderful cooperation.